Hey everybody, this is Adam Kogesh and today is a very, very exciting day for me because today we get to announce the big easy book bomb is happening. We have dates locked on now. The books, uh, will be the, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm really a lot. I gotta like, <laughs> in this video, there's a certain amount of like just, just factual information I have to get out. <clears throat> to, to let you guys know what is happening but at the same time i i want to communicate just how important this is and how excited i am about this <laughs> it's kind of hard to do both together at the same time so whoo all right uh wow <sighs> we are delivering a copy of freedom to every single residential mailbox in the city of new orleans at the same time between january 4th and january 11th of next year this is happening this is something i i i'm not just excited about this because i've been working on this for over three years and uh some of the people around me have been, have been like uh you know getting kind of sick of hearing me talk about the book bomb, the book bomb, the book bomb, but no, it's finally, it's here, it's happening. And it's not just that, that for three years, I've been trying to figure out how to make this happen. Not just like, is it possible? Like how to do the, uh, the mechanics of the delivery of the printing of the logistics of promoting this and making sure that, that when it happens, everybody in the city of new Orleans knows that, you know, when, when the book gets in their hands, when they get it in the mail, they know that everybody else in the city got the same book at the same time. And it kind of forces using that word very metaphorically here, them to have an opinion on this. I mean, this is, this is not the silver bullet. I just want to be clear. This is not what takes us to a free society by itself. No, I mean, it's, it's, of course, it's not going to be that simple, but right now there are a lot less, uh, intellectually involved, committed, passionate libertarians than there are conservatives and liberals. Sorry, that's the reality of where we are. So in a sense, getting involved in electoral politics to say, Hey, there's a libertarian here. Vote for me. Cause you might be a libertarian too. And I'll probably represent you better. That that's, I, and I don't want to say it's a bad thing, but it's, it's kind of a waste of resources when you could be using that same platform to say, I'm a libertarian. And here's why. And you should be a libertarian too. And, and build that base before trying to pander or focus on getting votes. So this has the potential to take our movement from, you know, like 1% to, to 10%. That's, that's my, my high optimism goal for this. Uh, that's, that, that would take us to the tipping point. That would make it possible to have the kind of, uh, collaborative social effort, whatever it is to take us to a tipping point where the government as we know it ceases to exist. The, the, the coercive, violent nature of government, at least, completely goes away because society asserts as a whole that, that we're just not going to tolerate this anymore. So anyway, anyway, back to the back to the book bomb, back to the book bomb. Um, we are going to be uh, doing this January 4th to January 11th. That's when the books are actually hitting. I will be in New Orleans uh, December 31st until January 15th. We're going to be doing a town hall on Sunday the 13th, the, the Sunday following uh, the arrival of the books. So stay tuned for some more detailed announcements about that. But for now, all we can say is we're, we're looking at uh, 4 to 7 p.m. on Sunday the 13th. And um, if you got a signed copy of the book in New Orleans, about 1% of them, 2,050, are signed. That's a free ticket to the uh, to the town hall and a chance to win $1,000 in Bitcoin cash. So this uh, is really important. Uh, for us to get it right the first time. And, and I got to say to, to the people who uh, have been with me from the beginning on this, you know, not just uh, the three years, but the last year of actually making this version of the book bomb happen uh, for New Orleans specifically. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, it's taken about twice as long as, as I had expected. And so for our sponsors, uh, I'm really grateful that they've all been very supportive and very patient in this. So I got I got to get a shout out to them. Like this, this is the special edition of the book bomb of the, of the, of the book, just for this book bomb. Um, we've got the bulk mail postage printed on the back. We've got the government warning there. And that is a real government warning that is actually from, uh, and it says United States department of justice. Uh, this, Publication contains information which poses a threat to the security, good order, 
or discipline of the institution, United States Department of Justice. That's an actual quote from a, a federal prison warden on Department of Justice letterhead, if anybody wants the actual source material on that. Yes, it is a real government warning about this book that will be delivered by the United States Postal Service. Yes, but to our sponsors, thank you. And this is uh, the letter from me inside the front cover that explains why uh, and how uh, and, and uh, uh, all the reasons it should be obvious that America is better off without the federal government entirely. Uh, also about what this book represents and our sponsors, people who help make this book possible, steamit.com, bitcoin.com, dash, smart cash, and of course the Libertarian Party. And then here on our on our, our other page with, with uh, our other sponsors here, We've got uh, anarchopreneur.com, mine Bitcoin and other popular cryptocurrencies, cryptoshrugged.com, great book that I got to write uh, the intro for, by the way, um, Brian Ellison uh, in, in Michigan, freedomsphoenix.com, dogecoin, uh, blocknet.co, Rancho Costa Verde, um, and versus the man snuck, snuck our logo in right there. Uh, quinacre.com. Quinn's got a great steam powered success course. So check that out. And, uh, Dash and Niklas Nikolajsen uh, as, as well. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. Oh, and I should point out, we've got the uh, world's smallest political quiz brought to you by the advocates for self government, a plug for Libertarian Party of Louisiana. All our sponsors again in color in the back there. Plus, since we know this is going to, uh, an American audience. There's a paragraph on jury nullification, and uh, yeah. So I'm. I'm. Can, can you tell I'm excited about this? Can you tell that I, this is like this is a huge relief to me because we we're at the point now that we 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 pulled the trigger on the delivery of the books, and that's that's the main thing. That's one hundred thirty one thousand dollars raised and spent. It's like the pretty much. I think that's the most I've ever spent on on. Uh, you know, a single like event kind of project like this. And right now, uh, if, if something were to happen to me, it would happen with or without me. And that's really exciting because I know that we're going to see so much value, so much impact from this. One of the things we want to do is some polling. We want to make sure that, uh, we, we can demonstrate the, the effectiveness and measure the effectiveness in, in, a, in a before and after poll. So it's one of the things that we're doing, uh, is supplemental to the core operation of delivering the books themselves. So the reason I'm going to be in New Orleans that that, that whole time isn't just to, to be around. The, one of the really important things in our strategy is doing a sign bomb. And so we're going to be putting out yard signs there. And I actually counted by gridding off and, and then extrapolating. There are about 10,000 intersect, intersections in the city of New Orleans. And we want to hit, uh, if possible, every other intersection. I think that would be, that'd be a pretty good saturation with a standard political yard sign. Uh, but it's just going to have just the cover of the book, just like that just the freedom logo and then we want to do sidewalk chalking and if we can hit every intersection in new orleans with little sidewalk chalks the freedom just like are you ready for freedom or got freedom or just something real simple just again so that when people get the book in the mail they know that everyone in their city got it at the same time and they kind of have to have an opinion on it at least before throwing it out and you know just to pitch this in terms of the the efficiency uh, we, we got this down to 64 cents per book. Yeah, 64 cents to deliver the ultimate red pill into another American's hands. That's incredible. And I, I, I was hoping for 60 cents, but, uh, you know, costs never come under budget for, a, you know, any kind of big project like this. But hey, we still did it for under 64 cents a book. That's pretty incredible. That's an incredibly efficient way to, to deliver this message. So, um, we want people there the first, that, that week before, if you're interested in volunteering for that, for helping us put out signs, we're going to do signs first and then sidewalk track and the remainder of the signs, the weekend starting fi uh, February, or excuse me, Friday, January 4th. So if you can be there at all during those times, you can email me, adam at the .com, or directly our volunteer coordinator, Elijah uh, Gizzarelli, who will be there uh, during that whole time as well at uh, Elijah at the freedomline.com. And that's just normal spelling e l i j a h so i've got i've got my blog post pulled up here just to make sure that that i don't miss anything but um i i guess the, the thing that's that's really important to, to to keep in mind here is that uh we we've put a lot of money into this project and if it's a success and it even just just at, at my you know 
my 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 high expectations are that it can take us from from one percent to ten percent, and and I don't think that's uh, that that's unrealistic. But uh, my my low end goal is that it just takes us from one percent to two percent, and that that would still be doubling the size of the movement. That would still make it worth replicating uh, in every city, uh, essentially across the world, or wherever we can pull this off, uh, wherever sponsors would get you know any kind of material benefit to make it worth uh, propelling the message this way. But even if it's just sort of in between, you know, it takes us to 5%, that, that's going to be, uh, really, really in- incredible. So I, I need your help right now. Um, if, if you can, uh, if you can donate to support this, we've, we've got enough, uh, funds raised to cover the core costs of, of what we're doing here. We're, we're going to have, uh, an Airbnb house, a little house for me and my team for two weeks while we're in New Orleans. Um, we're going to have at least a, a couple thousand yard signs and bumper stickers to hand out. We want to, we want to raise enough money to give away bumper stickers for free because people see those bumper stickers around town for the next year. If we get them on people's cars, it's going to be a good reminder. Hey, remember that book you got laying around at home? You haven't read that yet. You know, maybe we should have an opinion on that thing. So, um, if you go to the freedom dot fund, and this is something that, uh, you know, is an experiment in a lot of ways. So to be safe about it legally, we're doing this independently. I've been, uh, doing this myself. So we are, we, I, I've been, you know, I've got a, a, a team that's helping me with this, but, you know, legally speaking, we're all doing this as volunteers. It's an independent project. And, uh, I've been as transparent as I can be with the financials of this. So if you go to the blog post, you can see, uh, exactly how much money has been spent and it's been, uh, except for all the little stuff that we have in the works now coming up for, uh, the time that we're on the ground. And, 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 you know, I mean, I'm hoping to spend somewhere around 25 to $30,000 on this. Um, but already we've spent in, 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 on our three main expenses on the printing and shipping. And, and I say, you know, three expenses, it's, it's really a, a, a bunch bundled into those, but, uh, we've made three, uh, payments to three organizations, three companies. One is the printing company in China, and that covered uh, the printing and the shipping. One to uh, an import and logistics company, and that covered uh, customs handling, warehousing, and, and trucking across town from the Port of Oakland to the bulk mailer uh, center in Sacramento, and then to the bulk mailer uh, themselves, which covered the, the bulk mailing and, and some of the little associated logistical costs around that. So, um, if you can help out, please go to the freedom dot fund. You can donate uh, by credit card, debit card, whatever you want by PayPal or by cryptos. And I've got, uh, all of our, our major sponsors coins up there. Of course, Bitcoin, Bitcoin cash, uh, uh, uh dash smart cash and Dogecoin, of course. So please, if you can contribute, uh, anytime over the next couple of weeks, especially it's going to go to a really important cause. And like I said, if we, if we, uh, if we pull this off, and and show that it has uh an, an amazing effect we're gonna be able to do it everywhere and if that's the case it's game over for government i, I want to tell you uh it, well hold on before before i get to our our last two notes here one one last administrator i'm looking at my blog post here on, on my laptop and um well, first, basically, the the more the more resource that we put into this, I'm just going to quote myself from the blog post, something that I wrote that I really liked. Uh, While well, we have already spent about uh, $131,000 on the printing and mailing and of most of what we need for on the ground efforts, your donations would help take this to the next level right now. More signs, more ads, more free bumper stickers, more travel expenses for volunteers who want to help, more people who read the book, more converts more freedom. Yeah, you get the idea. So you can donate by PayPal or crypto at the freedom.fund link below, as well as to the blog post. that has got all the, the technical stuff that I'm, I'm reading from here. And again, if you want to get involved with that, Elijah at the freedomline.com. So we are going to be there to meet up. We do have one thing scheduled. So if you can be in New Orleans on Friday, January 4th, we are going to be at NOLA Brewing. Uh, 3001, uh, Chupitulas Street in New Orleans, zero, uh, 70115. That's NOLA Brewing. And thanks to them for hosting our For the Love of Freedom tour stop two years ago. It was an awesome event, awesome time, awesome venue. So thank you so much for that. Um, what were, oh yeah, my last two, uh, two things I want to say about this. Two things. Well, one thing about this, and we'll wrap up with one last administrative note, but, uh, there was a time for me when I thought that just 
articulating the message was enough. And and I, you know, kind of a, if, if you build it, they will come kind of attitude, you know, that like YouTube views and social media following and, and all of that stuff like that. That was that, that was the way to, you know, win the, the argument on the internet and then you'll be right about everything. And, and then, uh, and then we'll have, no, that's, we're not going to have freedom, you know, from, from that. But I remember giving my speech at the revolution march for Ron Paul in 2008 at the United States Capitol. And, uh, there was uh, a feeling that I got at the end walking off stage. And I was, I was very active with the rock veterans against the war back then. And we were dealing with a lot of different threats. I got death threats on a regular basis back then. Uh, none of them credible, uh, just, just, you know, harassment and intimidation. But I remember coming off that stage and I was, I was thinking about COINTELPRO and, and all the, uh, you know, all the great activists who were assassinated by the American government, not just in, in, modern American history, but really throughout American history and, you know, and, and then throughout human history of, of all the uh, activists who have been killed by government standing up for what they believe in. And I remember thinking, well, if they shot me right now, I would take the last ounce of energy that I've got to put a smile on my face. And after giving that speech, I had that kind of satisfaction. But now I know that there's, there's a lot more to this and that this book bomb is really in so many ways taking things to the next level. So more importantly than if, uh, you know, if you can help in New Orleans, of course, greatly appreciated, but more importantly, if, if anything should happen to me at this point, keep the book bombs going as long as they can be useful. Keep the message going. And I had that same feeling when the check cleared a couple days ago, and I was like, yeah, this is going to happen with or without me now. Now we have the dates confirmed. We have everything in place to pull off an amazing event, possibly the biggest in uh, the biggest uh, explicitly voluntarist event ever involving an entire city of 400,000 people. So we shall see. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me and, and everything that, that I've done and everything who has worked with me has done my team right now to my sponsors. Thank you so much. Peace and love. Mwah. And my final administrative note is that at the end of this ad, you are going to see a promotional video for Smart Cash. Check out smartcash.cc. So this is the first of the next hundred videos that we're going to be producing that have the Smart Cash promo at the end. So thank you to Smart Cash for encouraging me to get uh, back into media production, even despite the logistical challenges that we've had over the last year. So enjoy Mwah. one more time. Peace and love. And see new orleans and on the interwebs and i love you all i i'm i'm truly overwhelmed i, I can't end this, i don't want to end this video i just don't i don't want to end this video it's too good I, I'm, I'm telling you how we're we're about to like hit this tur turning point in the acceleration of the human experience at least just that much faster to a voluntary society but we won't get there any faster if i don't shut up so finally yeah, yeah. thank you Adam vs. The Man is made possible with support from Smart Cash. Check out smartcash.cc to find out more about this powerful, business-focused cryptocurrency that is fast, easy to use, and community-centric. Smart Cash is designed to be securely used for day-to-day -day transactions and put the currency back in cryptocurrency.